This is our featured story, guys. We have Mr. Wonderful, Kevin O'Leary, at Kevin O'Leary TV, if you want to follow him. Uh, basically testified in front of Congress saying, quote, that uh, CZ and Binance was responsible for the FTX crash. Let's take a listen. Wait one second. Here we go. The astronomical news sale. It did. In August of 2021, nearly three years after I started allocating capital in the crypto sector, I entered into an agreement with FTX to be a paid spokesman. I was paid approximately $15 million for these services, plus approximately $3 million to cover the portion of the tax receipt. Of the remaining amount, approximately $1 million was invested in FTX equity and approximately $10 million in tokens held in FTX wallets. The equity is now most likely worthless, and the accounts have been stripped of their assets and, interestingly, financial records. I've written them all off to zero. Because I was a paid spokesman, paid spokesperson, however, I never invested any capital from our partners or LPs in FTX. The capital loss was from an operating company that I had 100% ownership in. Actually, were you able to hear that? Kind of, a little bit. Oh. It was kind of hard, but... Oh, I'm sorry about that. Ugh, whatever. I don't know. Whatever. This is actually the wrong clip. This was the clip of him saying he was paid $15 million to be a spokesman for FDX. And he just said in that... He said later on in that testimony that... Uh, says he believes, he believes Binance put FTX out of business intentionally. Kevin O'Leary, who got paid $15 million by Sam Bankman-Fried, with your money, depositors, with your money, he took your money to tell you that FTX was the best and you should put more money in FTX. And now he's saying that Binance put FTX out of business intentionally. Former FTX celebrity spokesman Kevin O'Leary says he believes the bankrupt crypto exchange was toppled on purpose by China-based rival Binance based on claims made by ousted FTX founder Sam Bankman-Fried and the actions of Binance CEO Chengpeng Zhao, CZ. O'Leary, an investor and Shark Tank star, made the assertion Wednesday while testifying before the Senate Banking Committee when asked his opinion on why FTX failed. In my view, my personal opinion, these two behemoths that own the unregulated market together and grew these incredible businesses in terms of growing were, were at war with each other. And one put the other out of business intentionally, O'Leary said. Now, maybe there's nothing wrong with that. Maybe there's nothing wrong with love and war, he continued. But finance is a massively unregulated global monopoly now. Wow, he's so concerned. <laughs> Such a good man. They put FTX <laughs> out of business now. <laughs> Lots of other reasons, I'm sure, but that's my personal opinion. So he said this as his personal opinion that wasn't even like based on it. O'Leary recalled Bankman Free telling him shortly after FTX collapsed that the exchange spent as much as $3 billion to repurchase Binance's purported 20% share of his firm because Zhao allegedly refused to comply with regulatory requests from different, different jurisdictions, thereby prohibiting FTX from being cleared for licenses. They moved on. He, they, the movie said strip the balance sheet of assets. So he's saying that basically um, uh, Bankman Freed, um, oh, CZ wanted out of Binance. Uh, so he, so Sam Bankman Freed said he had to, to, to spend $3 billion uh, in order, so 20% of shares of his firm because he's now refused to comply with regulatory. So he said you need to spend you need to pay three billion to get out of this, you know, to, to exit. I mean, uh C Z said that uh that um C Z said that what's his name? That Bankman Free needs to pay three billion to uh buy out uh FTX his shares, uh, his shares yeah. of twenty percent of uh FTX. Which is stripped them of the balance sheet of assets. So Okay, so Leary pointed to Zhao's actions on November 6th when the CEO announced via Twitter that Binance is liquidating all the remaining FTP tokens on its books, which is a proprietary token of FTX. So that was the thing where uh, CZ said that they're liquidating their FTP token because um, 
because basically they were they were getting leveraged against an illiquid asset. Uh, so the Shark Tank investor says Zhao knew that the move was going to push down the value of the coin dramatically. And that's exactly what happened. Zhao said in the same tweet thread at the time regarding any speculation to whether this is a move against competitors, he said it is not. Bateman Fried arrested Monday. And yeah, so they talk about him being arrested. But first thing is that why is he blaming him for liquidating, for, for making uh, basically. Like, why is he blaming him? Like, this wouldn't be a problem if they weren't getting leveraged on all this uh, illiquid assets. He's basically saying, oh, yeah, he, he wanted to, uh, to to get out on his FTT tokens because Bankman Freed was getting leveraged on an, Ill on an illiquid asset. Like, who, whose fault is it? <laughs> it's just like classic scammer, like deflection, you know? It's like, oh, you're... You know, I'm going to break the law and be mad when you call the cops on me. You know, it's like, this is your fault. Like, it's just like, what? So, yeah, it's, it seems like, you know, that's like the play they're going for, I guess. You know, like if they're trying to defend themselves by saying, well, like, look at that guy. So, which I guess would mean that they don't really have much and they're, you know, hopefully he goes to jail for a long time. But, yeah, he he has no evidence behind him. He's saying it's his personal opinion, right? He he believes, as it says in the in the in the title, and then he says, and then he blames CZ for selling a token that it's like, yeah, how about how about you not getting leveraged on something that you created out of thin air? Like, how about how about that? Like, uh, uh, what you're gonna you you're and and what about like everything about regarding the Alameda uh. The Alameda FTX, you know, FTX funneling money to Alameda and all those kinds of things. Like, CZ, yeah. CZ is the one to blame. How about you look at yourself, buddy? How about you look at yourself, buddy, taking $15 million, probably in customer's deposit, to show something that you didn't even do the research on. Like, you could have, goes back to what I was saying about research. Like, he, he's like saying now, where did the money go, Sam? He's like, look, Sam. Look, Sam, where did the money go? <laughs> he's like a tough guy now. He's, he's Mr. Wonder, wonderful now. He's like, look, Sam, where did the money go? It's like, how about before you took $15 million? How about you demanded the audit then? How about you said, where did the money go, Sam, before you took that $15 million, uh, $15 million payout and told everybody to put their money in it and screwed over everyone? Yeah, how about that? <laughs> I don't want to hear Dude. about CZ. You never question a guy in cargo shorts. <laughs> but this but this time he should have. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> now he's complaining that he lost $15 million. He lost $10 million. He's like complaining that he lost $10 million, but he's still up like $4 million. He lost 10.9, he's still up 4.1 because he got a free 15 mil from Sam Bacon Free. It's all a circus, man. It's a big circus. That's why PEX is more prevalent than ever. It allows you to save yourself from yourself. Self-custody, delay gratification, trustless yield, no counterparty risk, no middlemen. PEX.com, everybody. PEX.com, not financial advice. But, uh, there's one man who's been right through all these. That's right. Yeah, there you go. So then, so then, regarding that, I had a, I had a, I had a funny tweet. So you had Peter Schiff. <laughs> Peter Schiff. We like Peter Schiff. I don't understand how Kevin O'Leary can claim to have lost fifteen million in FTX when the entire fifteen million was given to him by Sam Bankman Free to pump FTX. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin's only loss is his reputation. A lot of people who aren't nearly as rich lost hard-earned money due to his endorsement. And then we got CZ saying, agree with Peter on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Give them both Man. a like. <clears throat> what is your take on that, Ben Dubard? Yeah, I mean, he's right. But, again, it's all these – I still don't think – 
CZ from Binance is a great guy. I don't necessarily think Peter Schiff is a great guy. So it's like all the all the not great people look so much better now that like there's this one single super not great person like he's the center of attention. Yep. You know what I mean? So yeah. There's uh there's there's varying levels of evil. That's a really like the way to the way to put it. A bad I wouldn't call him evil. I wouldn't call C Z but like bad. Yeah. But um I guess he's less bad, but it's like, why should we listen to CZ? Like centralized exchanges aren't good, right? Like why is the centralized exchange man being healed the hero? How about the guy that said to get your coins off exchanges, get it off those lending platforms and created a way for you to earn yield trustlessly. That should be the man that we're talking about. Dude, I saw um, CZ tweeted something where he was like, we just got a, a, a official like regulation certificate or whatever. You know, this is this is a great way to show like legitimacy in a centralized exchange. And Eric Voorhees replied and posted a screenshot of like SBF posting like the same thing. Like we just got our official registration in, in <laughs> Dubai, you know, and like he's like, yeah, so it's just <laughs> kind of funny. Yeah, no, there you have it. But yeah, centralized exchanges are it's the same, it's the same old, same old. It's nothing new, it's nothing innovative. The only difference yeah. is the integrity is like that much lower, it's that much more shady. <laughs> there, there's no regulation. Which is which is why DEXs are, are so incredible. And which is why Hex is so incredible. But uh yeah, that's it for our uh featured topics. We got 34 watching please hit the like button if you're enjoying please subscribe to the channel please please become a member if you enjoy the content bringing it to you every day sunday through friday at 12 p.m eastern time you can give back now for the price of a cup of coffee one two three four or two, two no one two three four or five dollars a month really helps support the channel would really appreciate it no commitments. You could always, uh, you can always uh, rescind your membership. Won't judge you, man. <laughs> but it really supports me. We work really hard to bring the content to you, so uh, we really appreciate it. And you get a special members badge. Get a little badge next to you in the chat. How about that? That's uh, adding value. Ben, how, what do you think about getting a badge? Is it a collectible NFT as well? <laughs> sure sure <laughs> why not that's awesome yep yeah, join uh furs members he puts in a lot of work for yeah uh, and like it, it, a lot streaming every day it's a lot of like it's a lot so it's a, it's it's a lot awesome. of work it's a lot of work yeah. being there for you guys six days a week same time every day 12 p.m eastern time we're gonna take a look at the chat see what you guys have to say but um yeah consider that and if not and consider this as well. Sign up to the Furu Finance newsletter. Link in the description. Exclusive content. Free. Free. Free of charge. Just put your email in the description below. We're not covering it on this channel. But we cover it in the Furu Finance newsletter. And please go to bendubar.com and follow Ben Dubar at Ben Dubar on Twitter and on Instagram and TikTok. Ben underscore Dubar. And yeah. on YouTube, Ben Dubard. 